good. Welcome back to the show. It's Beaker's Lab. The gang is back. Look, man, you guys know what it is. And I hope you're doing good because we're back here for day three of the sneak peeks for the upcoming Clash update. And look, so far, it's all been about air troops, right? We've been talking about this. It's kind of like this air-focused update. We got a bunch of new defenses that kind of shoot air troops. We got a bunch of new levels of air troops. We even got a new air super troop. But today, guys, we're going into what we've all been wanting to know. You know how there's a new barracks? We've been seeing it all week. Last couple of days, everybody's been like, what's in the barracks? It's a new dragon. <laughs> but guys, look at this closely because it's, su it's such a combination of things. If I had to say just briefly what this thing is compared to something, I'd say it's like a P.E.K.K.A, like a flying P.E.K.K.A crossed with a balloon, which makes no sense. But anyway, guys, get your shades on and get your shoes off because the good news is we get to use these right now. We're in the dev build so we can do this before it comes out of the game. It's gonna be out soon though. This is coming very soon. So guys, get ready because sneak peek day begins in three, two, one. All right, guys, so just so you can see and get an idea of what these things look like, they're fast, man. Do not underestimate these things. They're, they're kind of like a baby dragon. I love this. I love these things so much. Guys, so watch when they get to something. This is a bad example, clearly. We, we just did this so there's an open base, right? We're in the dev build, so we can do weird stuff like this. Uh, but, by the way, look at that fight. That was so amazing. And that's one of the things I'm most excited about this, because you know you got a balloon? The balloon can't attack other air troops. This can't. Okay, guys, so I got the max dragon up on the screen over here. It is very similar to what we got right here, man. It is very similar to the Dragon Rider. So, you know, consider it like that. The Dragon Rider is slightly bigger at 25 spaces. It's slightly faster at 20 movement speed. But otherwise, it's a lot like the Dragon, except it goes straight for defenses. It can attack air or ground, single target, but it goes right for defenses. That's so valuable. I am so looking forward to this one, man. Okay, let me get these headphones out of here. I don't need them anymore. We're good. We're good. So, okay. So, guys, if you remember the past couple of days, we've been going up against this setup right here. It's kind of a troll. Not really a troll base. It's like a challenge setup where we got all the new levels of stuff, except for the eagle actually. That's not new, but I put it out here just because. Guys, let's go. Dude, it looks so awesome. I wish... I kind of wish it was like an Inferno beam, but we already have that with the Inferno Dragon, so that wouldn't make as much sense. This looks really cool. This looks really cool. All right, guys, let's get a couple more. Man, they do crazy damage. Let's get a Rage Bell down. Let's see what they do in a Rage Bell. So good. All right, guys, time to go. All right, let me drop a heal, see what they do in that. I mean, they're going to respond to heal pretty well. Like, P.E.K.K.A.s, you can drop a heal on a P.E.K.K.A. It's, you know, it does make sense. This is awesome, dude. They're so good. And I love how they're going straight for the defenses. Over here, it's a, it's a better example. Because you can see, right? They're just going to go past all the junk buildings and go straight for the defenses. Awesome. Man, they are holding out pretty well. Look at this. Like, going up against those expos, those things are no joke. Wow. It's so great when they drop down because just like a balloon, they do that damage when they fall down. I think it's actually very similar to a balloon. Uh, let me check if, if I can see here. Oh no, it's more than a balloon. So when they go down, they do 900 damage. It's like two balloons. Oh my God, so since we're in the dev build here, this is the version of the game that Clash gives us so we can do sneak peeks for you guys. Uh, it's not the real game, we can do whatever we want. That's why I have 48,000 gems. Uh, we can do anything, whether it's single player maps or we can attack ourselves. I think I got an idea though, hang on. Okay, guys, this round, I want to try a couple of different, like a, like a mix of all the new stuff. Not all the new stuff, but you know what I mean. We got the balloons, the new level. We got the super balloons, the rocket balloon, and we got the dragon rider. I think they're going to be a pretty good mix together because they all go for defenses, but they have different speeds. Like, they all have different speeds. All right, hang on. Okay. Three Dragon Riders, 
couple of balloons behind it. So let's see them get started. Then we go in the balloons. Oh, that's so sick. They distract everybody. Then we'll drop three more. Once they get started, three more balloons. I mean, this is fun, man. <laughs> this is crazy. Okay, two more. Man, without any spells, I still think they're going to be fine because they're. J I think they're going to be a really easy troop to use. Just like Pekka's, when you have a bunch of health and you get, and you do a bunch of damage, it's a simple troop to use. And in this case, they go straight for defenses. So I'm not sure how this is not going to be too strong, right? I, I guess, you know, I assume Clash has done some math on this and they, they know it's not going to be too strong, but it's going to be strong. Oh, I love when they go down, when they, when they hit the ground, it looks awesome. It's just like a balloon, you know, they, they, they do the damage on the way down. It's crazy. Oh, you know what I forgot to do today? Hang on, hang on. Sup? Man, look at this crew over here. This actually looks good. I love, you know, when, when I first saw the dragon rider, my first thought was they're, they're kind of small for a dragon, right? They look more like a baby dragon. The normal dragon and the electric dragon especially are just massive. And I thought these would be bigger, but at the same time, it's cool. Hey guys, did that thing on the top, was that like that before? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. No way. I didn't realize. Guys, if you don't have anything, if you have something training in there, the dragon actually opens up and like breathes fire. Look at this. Okay, guys. So just like hog riders, I feel like these are going to work pretty well with heal spells. I also think they're going to work even better probably with rage spells like a dragon would. Why don't we try it out though? So let me get over here. Let's see like one against a whiz tower. Yeah, this thing's got a lot of health, dude. Let's give it a rage spell. And man, it's just gonna bypass all the junk. Like it's not gonna go for that that elixir pump right there. It knows it's just gonna go for the it's just gonna go for the defenses. I love that, dude. That's so good when you have troops like this. I mean, that's why hog riders. That's why balloons are so. I mean, they're not easy, but you know what they're gonna do. All right, team, let's go. Dude, look at this. Let's get a rage spell in there. That looks so good going up against these archer towers. I love these. Hey, you know, I've been saying this a lot lately, but do you guys think the graphics are getting better every update? This looks like the most detailed troop in Clash so far. Let me get a heal spell in there. Um, is there an air blower? Yeah, I'm going to freeze that. Clone spell? Sure. Look at that. Just one. Just one. Dude, I feel like this is the most detailed troop yet. Actually, I guess all the new levels, they, they have a lot of detail, especially those new dragons. They look so good. But anyway, man, I love this. Hit it. Oh, so they're not going. Wait, 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 wait. I don't like that. So they're going to bypass the heroes. I don't know why. I had this thought that maybe they would be smart. And if a hero was attacking them, they would go for the heroes. No such luck. Here we go. So, dude, we've always had a tradition of attacking the dragon slayer whenever we have a new troop, right? And in this case, we can't just attack the dragon. It's not going to work. It's it, They won't attack the dragon until all the defenses are taken down. So let's try. I mean, if we can do it, great. Heal spell, dude, they're going down so fast. This is not good. I mean, we do have heal spells, though. We got a lot of heal spells. We got three more. No, stay with the team, buddy. What are you doing? All right, it's cool. It's cool. Another heal. Okay, we're actually doing this. I cannot believe this is working. Okay. All right, man, here we go. The team is coming over. Dude, they look so crazy. I think their reaction time is a little bit slow. You can see here, these balloons, these traps are gonna just own them. Like they, they're kind of like a P.E.K.K.A. in that way, I guess. They, they seem to have a slow reaction time. That was harder than I wanted, you know, because they're, they're, it's like hog riders. You can't just get hog riders in here, surround the dragon, and expect anything to happen. It's not going to happen. That was great, dude. That was great. Yeah, man, they are very bad at taking on skeletons. You, you saw there. So that's going to be maybe one of their weaknesses. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. Anyway, man, I'm so excited about this because I felt like already, before I even knew what this was or what we we're going to do with it, I felt like air is going to be really good again. 
Like it, it already is, but it's gonna be it's gonna be even better. Hey, you know what? One of my did I mention this? One of my favorite parts about this new barracks. Look, there's like fire on the top when it's working. Oh, there's like a cannon in there. What? That's weird. What? Oh wait, so the dragon riders are shooting cannons this whole time? I thought it was just a flamethrower. It's a cannon? Yeah, I guess so. That's what they're trying to tell us because you can see on the ground there, there is a cannon, there's a cannonball. And if you look very closely at the top dragon head on top of the uh, the barracks, there's a cannon in there. Doesn't make any sense, but you do you. It's all good. Cool, cool, cool. Anyway, that is it for today. We love you guys. If you enjoyed this one, again, let us know in the comments below. Be sure to leave two for Lulu. Leave an extra three for Melly as well. Melly, you're doing good, buddy. We love you. He's eating He's eating hay over there. He looks so cute. I don't know what to expect tomorrow, but we'll be here, guys, no matter what happens. And we'll check in with you. We'll let you know what's going on because I cannot wait for this update to be here. So no matter what happens, we will see you right here tomorrow on the one and only Beaker's Lab. Peace.